So I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and oh man, this is amazing. Really awesome. Lately, most of the MCU movies felt like the comedy was overboard and emotional scenes didn't hit. But James Gunn showed us why he is one of the best in his business. Cause the comedy scenes are funny and yet he managed to tell a perfectly sad story. Without spoiling much, I can say Rocket, Lila and their friends, those scenes were gut-wrenching and yet tells a wholesome story of friendship. This is definitely awesome. Now that being said, I think to some stuff which could have been done better. For instance, the character shouts a lot. Really, I don't know what happened to them, but Nebula throughout the movie was shouting, Gamora was also shouting, and the High Evolutionary started out as a good villain, but by the end, he also starts shouting so fucking loud. Everyone was like on a different pitch, which was a weird thing. And if you are enjoying this video so far, why not hit the like? like button and subscribe to my channel cause I have already recorded a video where I will talk about Guardians Volume 3 in depth with spoilers. To be fair, even if this is one of the best MCU movie lately, this has to be not as good as the previous two Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 were pretty unique for what they were compared to the whole MCU cause at the time Guardians have the ensemble cast, a group of misfits working together and becomes something awesome. But that has has been the story for a bunch of MCU movies lately. No Way Home was like three different versions of Spider-Man with very different types of experiences coming together and forming a group. Then we have Ant-Man, Cassie Dang, Wasps, Hank Pym and his ant army joining together to form the, I don't know, the ensemble ant family. Thor, Jen Foster and Valkyrie were also like three very different people coming together to fight against the evil forces and save everyone. At this current stage, MCU is all like what the Guardians movie should have been. So in that way this movie is not unique, but having said that, this is a pretty solid addition to the MCU and I have heard that this movie doesn't have that much of a hype or this might be a failure. Well, that's not going to happen, I'm pretty sure because this movie is good enough to bring in the audiences. So if I have to read it, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 because even with all the generic MCUness, this is a Guardians movie by James Gunn and it shows through and through. So that's all I got for today's video and I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, hit the like button, subscribe button and all sort of buttons down there. Cause yes, I just crossed 500 subscribers and next milestone, a thousand subscribers. And I know you can help me out.